So, Monkey here, we got a good batch of source hydration products today and thought we'd show some of the finer aspects. So, one cool thing they wanted me to show you guys is their little uh, nozzle add on. And it's kind of a neat idea where, say, you're, you're all hooked up and you, know, you don't want to take off your pack and get all involved. So, you can actually pop off your normal tip, like so, and then sneak this guy on. Very easy to put on. And so now you got a bunch of options. Uh, you can put a water bottle. So it's this kind of rubbery, it's very uh, accommodating to many entrances. So, say in our ghetto situation here, I can just totally undo this and lock in, which, which uh, that would be if I didn't have a hose. Fortunately, I have a hose. So I could actually stab in here. And since it's delivering water pressure, it would fill up in the back, and I didn't even have to take anything off. So, so that's pretty cool. Oop, excuse me while I drop my goods here. Moving on to some other versions. They have the kangaroo pouch, which is kind of a cute little guy. The intent of this small size is to fit in two pouches that normally would have fit your kind of surplus quartz. And so you... A notable thing is that you can take this off while it, while it has water and everything in it, and it won't shoot out. So you don't have to worry about that if, if you didn't want to use the hose. Uh, another cool item is the 2-liter low-profile version. And so this is, if you want kind of a flatter back, which the uh, Kifaru e and &E pack is a good example of that, which will fit nicely in there. But there's certainly some other designs that will hold it as well. And while here, we could go over some other the cool system of rather than having a, uh, a big plastic bulky piece here, they have a very kind of cool slide off system. And so you just slide it off, open it up, and then you just start pouring water in there, fill it all up, and then you slide it right back on. And so that that uh, helps out the low profile effect a lot. The canteen version has it as it makes more sense to where you would have a cap that you can drink out of. So that's why it still exists there. And so we're, we're going to show you more details on this diamond back version here. All right, we're back to go over more of the diamond carrier and pouch here, the hydration pouch. Sorry about the lumberjack in the background. But hey, we're, we're making shit happen today. So. Rather than having a whole bunch of pals or something on the back, they went with some simple SRB one-inch straps here. Uh, I left these loose to show you what's going on. And I used the pals to connect to so up top here. And so you just strap them tight, which works out pretty good. I actually uh, took it out of the hardware piece to make it easier to get through because I still had my armor on. But anyway, uh, makes do, which is good. To open it up, I have an interesting uh, kind of V here. So it goes here, here, and then a little pull tab. Crafty. That gives you pretty good access. So if you need to pull, rip it out, get to it. Say if you're changing your cord or whatever's going on there. And another cool feature is if this will close it off. This just gives me a little more slack to show you. It comes with. Backpack straps, say if it wasn't on my carrier. And so that's pretty handy, a good setup. You've got sternum strap, all the stuff you expect. And just in case it was not obvious, you get to pick which side your tube comes out of. So overall, a pretty solid setup. You've got all the other cool features, such as pals and Velcro strips for your name tapes. So pretty, pretty solid rig.